all right guys welcome back to the next many channel all right so this is part two of direct proportional so the first one we looked at that enough likes enough things thanks for guys for eat the favorite thanks all right so it says now x is directly proportional to the square of y so what we do we just rewrite it just like how we normally do it so x is directly proportional to the square of y all right so remember we are searching for some constant k and to get that what we do we put k right here and then we have y squared so we use the information that is given so we're given 36 and 3 so we have to use that substitute each values and then we can find k because k becomes a one unknown so the value of x is 36. We don't know what k is, but we just put back k and then y squared, which is 3 squared. 3 times 3, that's 9. So this becomes 9, k9. Let us say k9 if you know. But we can turn it around and say 9k, right? So we divide by 9 to get the value of k. So k is equal to 4. So how we have to do now, we are asked to find for 5, we are going to plug that in the equation. So x is directly proportional to ky squared. We know all of these values, so we can put them in. k is 4. We know y, so y would be, let's change the color. But you can identify it. Y is 5 squared. Alright, so 5 squared is 25. We multiply by 4. 4 times 25 gives us 100. So for this value, A would be 100. Alright, we're going to do this one now. You guys going to do C for me, alright? It's a learning thing. So we'll just write back it. X. Proportional to y squared. We know the value of x to be 196, so we'll put it right there. We know the constant k is 4, and then we have y squared. So to get rid of this, we divide by 4, and that should give us 4 into that 49. Now we have y squared. So we take the inverse, we take the inverse. So y is equal to 7. So you guys are going to do the next one for C. Leave it in the comment section. Do remember to like and hit the favorite button. This is Anx Minute. I'm out. No doubt. Thank you guys for watching another paper.